Celtic Thunder Irish singing group and stage show, which started in 2007 and is known for its eclectic theatrical style, is about to join us. Live shows use dramatic set pieces, visual effects, and highly choreographed staging. Yeah, hailed as Billboard's Top World Top World album in 2008, 2009, 11, and then again in 2015. Neil became hooked on music at the age of six when he watched his father's band play at a wedding. He later joined his father's band, had a solo career, and joins us this morning. Neil, thanks a lot for being here. Tell us about your start. I mean, you, you saw your father doing music, you joined your father's band. How was it performing in the same band as your father, and when did you know it was time to break away? Hey guys, good morning. It's great to see you, and thanks for having me. Um, I guess, you know, when I think back on all those days, my first memory is my dad coming, uh, having the the the, uh, the Defender Telecaster in the, in the hall, you know, after his, uh, uh, the next morning after his gigs at night. And I, I just, I suppose I got really attracted to it when I used to go to some of his rehearsals. And I guess, you know, up through the, the years as a teenager, I, I kind of served my apprenticeship, if you like, with my dad. And it was great to play with experienced players you know my dad and his band you know that were had been played for decades you know and i was coming in as a young teenager and it was by the age of it was by the age of 15 i took over from my dad uh full time and i was a full-time musician ever since you know so and that, that was playing in in hotels i think across the country in ireland you know uh, you so, forced um, the old man out <laughs> I pushed the old man out, yes, I'm afraid so, you know. But you know, he was at that stage, he was delighted to be able to hand over some of his gigs to me when he didn't want to do them all, you know. And then, as I said, when he retired, you know, it was, uh, it was great experience for me to be playing with these uh, older musicians and, and making my way to the, the, the bigger stage, you know. Well, we're excited to get to see you guys here live in Detroit. We just saw a little clip there. Give us an idea of what you can expect to see and hear. It's, it seems like it's a total experience. Yeah, guys, it's it's actually, it's very exciting. It's very exciting for us to come back, you know. Would you believe it? We've 17 years of Celtic Thunder now, which is crazy. I'm I'm in it since the very beginning. They, they can't really get rid of me, you know. <laughs> so um, I'm... Loving it. We're going to be playing on this show. We're going to be playing, you know, fan favorites from down through the years. We've had an amazing um, following throughout America. And, you know, Detroit has been incredible to us. That's why we keep coming back. Um, we were after recording uh, what you can see on the screens, but we're after recording a new production called Odyssey. Uh, and we recorded it in Ireland in a, a manor house called Gloucester House. It was the first time we'd ever done that, you know, and... Um, yeah, we're after, so it's a, it's a mixture of our new uh, production with um, all the fan favorites from down through the years, you know, and the shows that we've been do doing so far, we're on a 55 uh, uh, tour date um, trip, you know, so it's a, it's a crazy busy one. We've been doing like five gigs in a row, seven gigs in a row, six gigs in a row, so we're, we're flat out here. But it's been going down so, so well and getting great crowds uh, across the country. Uh, so we're, we're really, really looking forward to the Detroit show, you know. A dozen albums. Love the longevity. All right, I'm being curious and just a tad bit nosy, if I'm being honest. You have one lone piece of art over your shoulder. Is that is that person oh. clothed? Are they playing an instrument? What's, what's going on there? <laughs> I'm trying to squint. I can't figure it out. I recognize that actress. Uh, actress. I'll show you now. One second. All right. We got a close up now. Oh yeah. I've been trying I'm to figure cute. it out. I've seen. It. You'll be able to tell me oh. her name. Oh. There we go. go. And here and I thought autograph. it was someone playing an interest instrument in the nude. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan of Carol Burnett. <laughs> oh, too funny. I know. There's yes, got to yes, be a story indeed. behind that. Yeah. Tell. Uh, sorry, a story behind this. Yeah. It's yes, autographed. Right? Like she autographed it for you. It is. Oh no, that's not for me. That's not for me. I'm in a venue here. At the oh, 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 <laughs> and we just happened to be on the wall, you know. There's another couple as well, you know. So he kicked I his wish dad out. He's stealing me, you know, art. Because I'm a big fan. Well, oh, that's good. Hey. Well, you could have fooled us. Yeah, that's great. You, you can own it as your own yes. now. Neil, Absolutely. It might just slip into my suitcase, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, one for the mantle, for sure. Neil, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Can't wait to hear you and Celtic Thunder perform in Detroit.